Hey guys, so I wanted to go over one of the most electric players I've seen in Little League World Series in a long time, and a guy who, you know, for a kid that's in between 10 to 12 years old to have this high level of a baseball IQ, the way he took extra bases, the way he drew throws, um, even trying to shield a ground ball from a defender that allows his team to get a base hit and score a run. This kid, Taraj Alexander, was incredibly exciting to watch. And going to go over one of his little highlight videos right here and some of the plays he made um, as you know, a 10, 11, 12-year-old were just pretty spectacular in today's game. Where, where guys, again, I've talked about with you guys how the people at the professional level, I mean, they assume coming in to pro ball that guys have zero baseball IQ. That's what a lot of evaluators and a lot of player development guys are saying at the professional level. So to see a kid like this uh, make the plays he does is pretty special, and we're going to get into it right now. He also has a great personality, as you can tell. And obviously some of this stuff won't pertain to baseball IQ, but I'll, 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 I'll pause it and kind of let you guys see the things that I'm seeing where, you know, just plays you don't see happen a lot, especially at a, a kid that's this age. So this is the first one right here. And we'll get to, there's a, there's a slow-mo part here where he, he runs past the ball and then kind of leans back. And he's obviously, he's trying to get out of the way, but if he's just running as hard as he can, he runs right past it. And look, he, he, he makes the first baseman miss the ground ball. <laughs> and again, that one may have just been accidental, but when, when you see all the plays he made, all of a sudden you start to think, all right, he's doing a lot of this. Like, he's really thinking about the game in an advanced way. Boys knocks the ball down with his foot, gets up, makes a great throw. Pretty good on the mound, too, from what you can tell. And you can tell he's the guy on the team that just, like, he creates the energy for the entire team. He's the guy that every player on the team's looking for to bring the energy every game. Good eye at the plate. This is where we'll see one of the first ones here. So they actually don't do a great job of showing it in this video, but you'll see here in this replay. So obviously he crushes that ball, right? He crushes it. And in, in Little League, the fields are so small, he's he's not going to be able to get a double on that. But watch what he does to get to second here. So I'm pausing it so you can see it because it's pretty quick. But after this ball's hit, he's... Gets a good secondary pass first base. The opposing team makes the throw to third. And because he's he's got a great secondary, he's watching the ball. He didn't just kind of jog into first and celebrate. Now, when the throw goes to third, look, he takes second. Just walks into second. And now he can do his celebrating. What you would see happen a lot in today's game at the college level, high school level, let alone 10 or 11-year-olds, is a guy would would hit that ball and you know they're gonna they know it's a base hit they're jogging the whole way but Taraj does a great job of he does exactly what you coach guys to do is hey go hard big secondary pass the bag keep your eye on the ball and he's far enough off the base to when the uh, second baseman makes the throw to third he just coasts into second easily and gets his team another runner in scoring position <laughs> and this is this is the most impressive one guys. This is the one that I saw live, and I just could not believe a, a 10, 11 year old was able to make this read, but also have the courage to actually pull it off and go for it. And so, the obviously, situation, guys, if you can't see from the top, 4 4 game, this was the US championship game to make it to the final against uh, Chinese Taipei. And so, it's tie game. It's in the fifth inning. There's two outs. So, again, I mean, Pitcher gets him out of the inning here with just one out. And Taraj, he's not just chilling at third. He's not just, you know, looking in the stands. He's watching this pitcher. And watch, the pitcher's walking with his back to home plate. 
He's not looking at Taraj. He's not paying attention to what's going on. And then Taraj just kind of gets the feel for it, takes off, and gets in easily. And, and puts his team ahead late in the game. That's with two outs. He gets thrown out at home there. A lot of guys will be scared to go because, oh, you get thrown out at home that, you know, you could have had a big inning. But he just read the situation perfectly. He's keeping his eyes on the pitcher. Guys, I can't, you know, baseball IQ, you get that from experience, but you also get it from just watching the game, paying attention to what's going on on the field. And you could tell throughout this entire World Series that Taraj, he's a guy that sees the field. He's always paying attention to what's going on. He's always seeing, okay, if, if, if they make this throw here, I can take the next base. Um, and just unbelievable play by, a, again, maximum he could be at 12 years old. For a kid that young, to look, and he should be rightfully pumped up there. I mean, just an outstanding play. And then here you go. And, and again, this is where he, gets, he, he makes a little bit of a mistake, but again, at this age, you want guys – testing what they can do and being aggressive but he's he sees again we'll back up a little bit he walks he walks and his buddy steals third so as soon as he sees that throw go down to third he's running hard watch see he's running hard to first now he's paying attention runner scores he takes second and then he i, I think he kind of misreads this as i think he saw where the shortstop is and thought that was a third baseman and thought it was kind of open at third but he's making an aggressive play. Again, a, a bad throw here. He maybe scores, but he ends up getting thrown out, which is fine. And he you can tell he's really upset. Like, he's very upset with himself. And his coach, I think, kind of basically tells him, hey, you've done a lot this game. Don't let this eat you up. But he, you can tell how much of a team guy he is because he's very upset with himself for getting thrown out there. But again, I mean, at this age, you want to see guys testing their limits and being aggressive and making plays like that because that's how baseball IQ is formed. And that's how, you know, guys get to college baseball and they make crazy plays like that. But I wanted to highlight Taraj because it was so refreshing as a, you know, a former professional player that watches some of these games sometimes. And, you know, especially at the college level and the high school level, and you see just a real absence of baseball IQ at least at a, you know, a middling level, not even a high level IQ. And to see a kid consistently game after game, pull off plays like this is, it was so refreshing to watch guys. Baseball IQ, again, it comes from experience, but it also comes from seeing the field, making sure that you're always paying attention. Baseball IQ comes from watching the pitcher's tendencies in the dugout and not just kind of hanging out and talking with your buddies. That's great. But paying attention to the game, what the pitcher's doing, what the defenders are doing. Is the catcher, one of the things I would always do is watch the catcher. If the catcher's just lobbing, you know, rainbows back to the pitcher and I'm on second base or even third base and he's not paying attention to me, you can steal third. You can steal home on those lollipops back to, to home plate. So this is a great example of, guys, what, can, what happens when a kid just pays attention to what's going on in the field. Taraj Alexander, exciting player to watch. Excited to see where how what he ends up doing in his career. Um, I can tell you with the energy he's got in the baseball IQ, I think he's gonna have a he's got a pretty good chance at playing somewhere nice when he gets older. Obviously, he's still really young right now, but a player that man in, in five years, if I start hearing his name, it is probably gonna be because he's a stud. 